Sat sa unik les gite. He said, see, no hesitation. Look, he said, come on, let's go. On the TV we went. So I told nigga, let's get there. He said, see, no hesitation. Look, he said, come on, let's go. On the TV, we went. That's how easy it was, man. Say what? And there it is. Bing, bing, bing. And I, and, I, and I smoked him. I smoked him. And when I smoked him, I told him, now you're going to get out of my nigga business. He said, no. Nah. He said, I can't do that. So my little partner, I said, smoke him. My little partner ran over there and he smoked him. My little partner Digo went over and shook him down one time. Smoked him, ran him down through there. I asked him again, you gonna get out of my partner business? He said, man, I told you, nigga, can't, I can't do it, man. So this nigga, we fucking, we fucking this nigga up. I shot my other little nigga in him. Lil D, let Lil D run in there and work with him right quick. Lil D went in there and bing, 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 bing. We bang him up again. Cause you gonna... I looked at him this time, I was like, well, shit, that nigga say, the nigga told me he couldn't do it. I can't get out of this business, man. I got to keep my foot on this one. It's too much. In, it's, well, I signed the kite. <laughs> I sent it back to my partner. So, man, I stepped on this nigga for you down here, man. The nigga, oh, he not trying to hear it. Mm -hmm. Whatever y'all got going, so, Crip nigga ain't trying to hear it. So, um. The moral of this story was, the gangster part is, 10 minutes later, about 30 minutes later after we matched this nigga out, some niggas came running through the door. Them niggas was GDs, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck going on? They said, man, y'all jumped on one of our little GD partners over here. Nah, nigga, we jumped on a crib nigga over here. They said, nah, nigga, nigga ain't no crib. The nigga GD, nigga. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm most definitely sure he's a crip. <laughs> you hear me? They say, no, nah, he just always like a siege with crip niggas because he cool with The fuck? That was one of ours, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck, nigga? Oh, shit. What the fuck? We just have now, why ain't nobody said this? There's crip niggas just sitting here, goddamn, he's saying this, this, this is a GD, nigga. What the fuck going on, shit? And them niggas hot, they don't give a fuck what's going on. All they know is three crib niggas just ran down on the GD nigga over yeah. back to back and back door and back door and back door. But I got the letter from Bad Boy, which is a crib nigga telling a crib nigga to get out of his business. <laughs> you hear me? Right. See how see how deep it's getting in the penitentiary? It's getting deep, ain't it? And nigga, <laughs> it's getting deep because them GD niggas mad now. It's a lot of them niggas. They won't sit there. Well, goddamn, nigga, it was a mistake. And, you know, and, and the sad thing about it, nigga, there ain't no such thing as mistaken identity when some gangster shit that went down like this. It ain't about no, uh, I'm sorry, nigga, we didn't know that was a motherfucker. Son, nigga. They ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Because if the game is, if they let a nigga get away with that, niggas will try to get away with something else on their game. You hear me? I mean, but the shit, the shit was just a total misunderstanding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, fellas, can we goddamn? No, nah, nigga. Ain't no motherfucking goddamn none of that. Something gotta be done, nigga. Mm -hmm. And that's how them niggas taking it. And, and them niggas want my head now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And the crib niggas, since Bad Boy had got locked up in solitary, that took off a, that took off my lieutenant, my strong arm. You know, and I didn't have another strong arm. They knew me and him was done. This nigga right here was a masterpiece on running my business in this boy. And with him out the way and me out the way, these niggas can go back to being niggas like, all right, these niggas gone. You hear me? They can't wait. Where they know it, they ain't got to stand up to no game. the shit no more. But anyway. The GD niggas 
came up with a conclusion that they were going to violate me. Nigga, they were going to jump me. They going to send three niggas out there to pop me. You hear me? Uh, the sad thing about the unit, nigga, I'm going to show you how I built myself up in rank. To show you that them niggas wanted me crucified on the unit. These niggas, I went out to the wreck yard with one soldier, nigga, my soldier little D, nigga. Forward, forward my, my bodyguard, baby, the baby, little D. And by two more crib niggas, which they really wasn't no, but they was there. Yeah. They wasn't going, they were not going nowhere. Little Zach, little Zach. And my nigga, the baby, man. DeMarcus Cummins. Yeah, y'all look at my bodyguard, nigga. Uh. The sad thing about it, the Crip niggas that knew that these niggas was gonna do it, they didn't even say nothing about it. They was just gonna let the niggas do it. They were gonna let the GD niggas pop it. 